Welcome back everybody to the R44 YouTube channel. Today we are fitting two variants of the new grills from MHC. So let's walk you guys through and go through the two grill options. So we've got two grill options that we are retailing. We've got this, we call it the GT style. Um, so it's based off the GT4. Um, so we've got that style and then a CLS. CSL. CSL. Almost got me there. Grill. This is without the uh, radar. So there's a radar version where this has been removed. Um, obviously this car has no radar, which is the best way. So it looks better. But anyways, we've got these two options. We're going to fit them out. We're going to walk you through the full step-by-step, -step, how to remove the bumper, remove the original grills, install the new ones, transfer your badges over, um, and things like that. So in terms of the badges, obviously this is an M3 comp. So this will have a size there. On the website, there's an option for a gloss black M3 or an M4 badge for the non comp owners. For the comp owners, recommend just using your original badges. And again, the same for the CL. CSL. CSL. Why is it so bad? Even though that car's coming out in four days from this video. Crazy. Um, we'll fit that in there and see how it fits up. But from there, let's go on. If you have a splitter, if you don't have a splitter, the SP1, you have to take out these. They're either an 8mm socket or a 10mm socket. They are variant between the models. So on our car, it is a 10. So we take these out. Just take them out like so and put them in the corner of your racket. So your lip will start coming off. So we're going to move this wheel. Um, so pardon my dirty wheels. We were on the racetrack yesterday. So move your wheels. So now there are three 8 mil sockets running along the arch liner. So we want to remove those. So once you have these three fixings, pull your bumper towards you. Just watch out you don't make contact with it. Pull that back. There's two fixings just up here. They're eight mil sockets. So just get in there and take them out. They are long. So I've used a long extension. So just take those out like that. For the other one, I would recommend using a, um, like a knuckle try and get up and in there. So remove that. I've just added a knuckle in there so you can get up and in there safely. So we now drop the car down. Um, I always do the underneath stuff first because you drop the car once, take the top off, pull the bumper off. So using your trim removal tool, there's these push fixings, like umbrella fixings all along the top to remove this trim, as well as just remove this trim, uh, the rubber kind of gasket from the lights. You don't need to remove it from this section. Do that and then pop these out like so. You can use that. Like that. So just remove that and then place that aside. Cool, so using your T30 bit, you want to remove all of these uh, Torx cut fixings along the top and just recognize there are two different tights. So most of them in the middle have a larger kind of washer and the two on the side have a smaller. So just go through all of these, remove them all. So using two hands, you want to release the top section from the metal clips. You can get underneath it, give it a wiggle and you want to pull it out. So there are two uh, sensors that you can unplug um, after. So you, the bottom one, is you just pull it out from here. So this is from the left-hand sensor. So you just pull that clip out and down. And this one is the same. So that, and then there will be a temperature sensor. I believe it's always on the right-hand side. And we just pull that out of the housing. Um, See, so I just unclip this. And then let's bring it out. Cool, so the bumper is off. We put them on a trestle, make sure it's protected so you don't damage your bumper. Um, so you just need to take the center section of the grill off. Um, using your trim tool, I take the wiring harness, I just release the back of it and just pops out. Like so, and then your parking sensors, it's just a case of pulling them back ever so slightly, and they'll pop out. This one, 
just pops that out again with the parking sensors that comes out like so we might just release some of the pressure in the harness so it's a little bit more free you've also got the parking camera I just release that there it's slightly just make sure the clips all undone so that's there so we place that all over the side for now as we go around and unclip so with the clips around the grill, they're just plastic clips. So I just use my trim tool and release them as I go around. And you'll slowly get the grill unclipped. So the golden moment, we lose the horrible grills. Again, I'm just gonna release some of the wire harness. Put the trim tool aside. All the clips are undone. Goodbye, grills. They've been a pleasure. Are you gonna be sad about them? I'm not. CSL grill is now going on the car. Um, we're gonna opt for this one first and see how it looks. So simply just rest it in there, like so, and start to push it in. Wow, look at the pre-preg carbon. Beautiful. So nice and tight fit, which is what we like. The clips clip, oh wow, what a great fit. Which is lovely. So again, just clip that all down. These do re fit really well. Um, again, we've already pre-applied um, the parking sensor housings in plastic. So it's just a simple case of pushing them through, like so. You can put your camera back. You see the camera's cut out around that space. So you just pop that back. Um, we put a little hole in there, pop that in, actually, there you go. There's a hole that we made earlier. That's it. And these, what we're gonna do is put some 3M tape on the back of these. We'll pre-apply them for the production orders. Put that back. So we're gonna 3M tape that there. Two places so you can put those back. This goes in there. Just strap all your harness back in place and let's see what it looks like. Now just line your bumper up, tuck it in, so make sure these little clips along the top are the most important that you get under and then you just push it and give it a nice push. And underneath here, if you come around here Dylan, there's these little um, rubber flaps, sometimes these flaps behind here get tucked into the grill, so just make sure they're up and that's key. Alright, so what I'm doing is just pushing it back in, just going around, being really careful around this area, making sure it's under the light. It tucks into this area properly, it's underneath. And now what we'll do is we're gonna get it up in the air and repeat all the processes. We probably, we won't capture it on video because it's pretty much the same thing. So just those two fixings first, make sure this gap is flush. It is like, you can adjust it, push it forward back. Just make sure this corner is flush. Two screws there, arch liner screws, the bottom screws, then come up to the top, put your fixings back in, close the bonnet, check the gap, I use, if you can have like a little metal spacer or something, about two and a half mil, three mil along this line is perfect. And you can just play around with these th first three fixings forward back. Once you're happy, tighten them all down and all is good. Place the rubber strip on and there she is, done. So yeah, we're gonna go wrench this all up, take it into the booth, get some fitted photos and go from there. seen that grill fitted now I'm going to strip the bumper back off and change it over to the GT grill which I think I'm going to keep on this car I think it's a little bit more I don't know how to say it a bit more chill um, the car is already quite larry especially with the twin fins but I think maybe if you've just got an SP1 with a single fin then it could be the grill for you but I think let's go for an OEM plus look if not we can always change it um, so yeah just whipping the corners back out take the top of the bumper off and there we go all right, so we're now in our quality control bay. Um, let's just admire that quality and finish. But for now, so we're gonna remove the badges from the grills. Like I said previously, there is two options. We can either supply you with a new gloss black grill, but it's non-competition and it's painted gloss black um, for the non-comp owners. But for the competition owners, I think do this. It's the best kind of pr like practice. Um, so you could do two ways. You can, you know, mark all the distances and stuff like that. It's 
quite time consuming. What I'm going to do is do it by eye. Um, so you're going to use a small flat head, but to put in there. Do that. So that's, now I'll just protect it a little bit when we go in. So we're going to go in there, pull off the end badge, it comes off pretty clean. This is with no adhesive remover. I've seen people, you know, previously rem put some adhesive remover in there, but there's no real need. Just wet that up slightly and get in from here. Patches and then the M3 badge, be careful. I'll go in in the center. There you go. Just like that. So that badge is off. I'll leave that there. I'm going to throw that in the garbage. But for now, let's get over here. And just... All right, so what we're doing now is I'm just checking how I'm expecting to make it all fit. Something along those lines. Something like that. Looks pretty cool. So the annoying long part of this is this. So you get some. 3M adhesive, what I do is use one straight edge to benefit us, cut that off, you can go in like that, with a really sharp blade all the way down the side, so it is a bit of a long process, um, but it's what you have to do unfortunately, because we can't make these badges obviously as their original BMW, so that's the first it's a competition badge, M3 badge, we'll do the same. All right, so this is the tricky fun part. I'm just gonna use the spacing around to make it maybe about two millimeters all the way around. So I'll start with the M badge, peel it off. You can see I've cut it all around. I'll make sure I leave a couple mil, or a mil at least, around the edge so that when you squish down the 3M. So just getting that M3 badge positioned, make sure it's not wonky. Looks good to me. And then fill that bottom with the competition. If it's not an M3 comp, I would just reduce that down a little bit, fit it in, or turn it into a competition. Why not? Hi there. So, no, the grills are now labeled up, well, emblemed up, looking good. So these are installed slightly different because they're not one piece. They're more like the Vorsteiner that go in from the front. So just put that bottom side in first and then just lightly clip her in. And you know, I make it look easy, but it actually is that easy. Um, and there's a nice little foam border. It's just perfection. All right, so we're gonna do the opposite side. You need to get, make sure your bumper's away from the trellis so you can get it pushed down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip it around so I can pull the clips and tuck them over. All right, so now you can see the returns on the clips go up to the clips. I'm just going to pull them up. And what I'm going to do as well on this one, for security reasons, obviously you don't want someone stealing your um, grills. So just like the voice down, I'm going to put little screws in just to keep them in. All right, so we've got these panhead screws. We're going to throw these in the box with the grill um, to keep your grill secure. It's really important that someone doesn't come and steal it the day after you install it. So they've got a self-tapping head and a bit of thread. PH2 drill bit coming in this side. Just I think in, we'll put one either side um, and that way it's nice and secure. So this side's obviously a bit more difficult to access so I'll pop this grill out um, and then using a trim tool I'm pushing the carbon in. Make sure when you see it pop through the carbon. All right, so now I've now fitted the grills and secured them. So one thing, if you come over like Dylan, just go in here, what I do is put, feel with your hands side by side and make sure the fitment on the grill is perfect to the uh, bumper. Once it's perfect, go in there, use a trim tool to hold the carbon. I put four fixings, so one in each corner, and that is perfect, nice and secure. So now we're gonna go on to doing these. So they'll be pre-applied 3M, and that's just to hold these little bits. Um, but what I'm gonna do first is put the parking sensors in. There's little rubbers around the parking sensors. So it's very important that when you put them in, you look from the other side. All right, so now with the 3M tape, you simply just push the clips on and that'll keep them nice and secure. Ain't going nowhere. Oof. So again, just check the grills in that's at the top. There she is. Let's figure that in. I'm gonna plug the sensors in after. Right, so the last final piece, I've adjusted this. I'm happy with the gaps. I'm gonna pop this plastic trim in, get it all seated nicely. Make sure everything lines up. Like that. that one goes in there. Once they're clipped, just push them down. 
Easy as that. It's the final touch with the GT grill. It's looking so far so good. I just can't wait to get it outside. looking great what do you think i personally love the gt grills these look good yeah i just personally like that look um but yeah let us know in the comments obviously and hopefully you have your product by the time you're watching this if not all the links are in the description they're pretty much we have some in stock now but they're probably going to go really quickly if not get your orders in they're yeah they're being made as soon as we can um, and as always like subscribe and hit that bell button. We are releasing pretty much videos every day now. We've got so much content on this car, the 240, the Supra, and some other BMs. Um, but yeah, for now, guys and girls, take care and see you on the next one.